Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm gonna draw the F-14 Tomcat from the original Top Gun movie. <laughs> Whoa, let's get started. Planes can be tricky to draw and I'm drawing the F-14 Tomcat and my A4 size paper is 21 centimeters. So half of that's 10 and a half. So I'm gonna put my zero on the edge of the page, 10 and a half, and I'm gonna draw a line coming across. Now I'm doing an exact replica of a printout that I've done. So I'm measured in here, one and a half centimeters. I'm gonna put a line there and then I'm gonna measure in five, five centimeters from this edge, roughly and up four centimeters. So this line that I'm drawing is basically the back angle of the wing because you want to get your wings and your, your angles of your um, nose of the plane accurate. Now you're going to see more of this side of the wing and the nose is going to come through here. So let's measure in 14 centimeters. And this is the angle that the, the nose of the plane goes on. All right, now it's time to draw the nose of the plane, which is, I'm gonna start down here. And it's gonna come around like so. This is the bottom of the nose. Now planes are all curves, so it's gonna be pretty tricky. We've got our wing here. This is the back of the wing that comes around and then it comes back on an angle like this. Comes in here, so that's the back wing. This is the other wing, so we're gonna bring this around. And now this is all curved, so this is gonna come into there, but you're not going to, it's not gonna see all of that wing. All right, the cockpit. Okay, so this is the, the nose. Just gonna narrow that down. The cockpit. Now I prefer to draw in pencil first to get it looking accurate and then I'll go over it with pen and refine any areas that I need to later on. So the cockpit's basically up there. That's the back of the wing. There's a motor or the jet engine, should I say, not motor. Curve line like so, and then the other one curves around like so. And then there we've got this awesome intake through here. Because we're looking sort of down on it, we don't see all of the intake, but in here is where there's a hole and the air goes in for the engine. You can see it's slightly offset. It doesn't, it's not right on the engine. Now there's actually another wing behind this wing. So we've got to draw that out. A little bit comes out. And there's the back wing. I'll fix that up later on. And then we've got the, the tail fin, or whatever you call that. There's probably a technical term for it for those people that are plane lovers. And we've got that little bit on top. Now, because this is a different angle, you see a bit more of this one. So we can see that that is gonna come up to about here. And that's actually, this one is actually lower than that. So I'm going to bring that to about there because it comes up and sort of follows a similar angle to this. So that is the other side. And then we've got the other wing that pops in and out here like that. So we've got the two back wings, the engines, and that comes around there. Now this is the other air take. Don't see as much of that because it's on the other side, but it's in line with here. So these need to be in line. So I need to bring this one forward a bit because it's in line with my cockpit. So similar sort of angle to that. There's a lot of parallel th things happening here. That comes down. This curves around and then comes under the wing. There's a shape that comes around like this. The wing slots into there. That comes under the wing. Now we're gonna have 
pretend that this goes back to a vanishing point, like one point perspective, if you've learnt that, there'd be a point back here that, that all these lines will go back to. So this is going to be, I'm just putting a couple of lines, you can see that that goes back like that. This is going to be the big bomb. So there's going to be a bomb here. Sort of a shape similar to the nose of the plane. There's a little piece that comes off here. We can put all these extra details in later on when it's time to make this look amazing with our outlining. Now the other bomb is going to come, it sits in behind here. So it's got the little, little, I suppose the release and then the shape of the bomb is like so. Then we're going to put a rocket on here. Look at the little spikes coming off it. See a couple of spikes there. And we'll put another little rocket spike off the back there. We might do the same on here because then it's on the outside of that. So we'll put one here. And notice how I've got it on that angle. So pretending these are all going back to a point that's off the page. Bring that so. A couple of little spikes coming off for our rockets. Now we've got some little lines here on the wing. Don't put those lines on. We've got the wing sort of shades down like that. That comes up into there. This curves around. A lot of folds and curves for aerodynamics, I would imagine. That's what all these bits are for. A little bit of a panel there, bed panelling there. We're not going to go too much into the, all the panelling, but that, that sort of follows through there. All right, these wings can go fold in, so that's why they've got that. And then this comes in here. Or the back wings at least. And now the cockpit. Let's make that rounded like so. And then round, rounded. This is the tricky part and getting this looking exactly how we want that to look so it doesn't look funny and that comes in behind there. Then we've got a little bit, bit there. Now, I reckon that's looking pretty good, ready for some outlining. Okay, we've got the basic construction lines of the F14. Now it's time to outline. I'm going to use a 0.5 for this. And I'm not going to do every single detail, like the, the people in the cockpit, etc., etc. I'm just drawing the main plane. And this is the cockpit. Remember the curves on the cockpit are super important. So I'm putting all them in. This comes over like so. And keep drawing all the other details. I've got to speed it up now. And I'm going over mine with a 0.5 multi-liner. And then I'm going to colour it in. And I'll see you guys at the end. Thanks for watching today. I hope you had a great time. Check out some of my other videos here. And until next time, I'll see you later. Cheers. Bye. See ya.